Hi, this is Rob Toner from Toner Cable Equipment. Uh, we're here to go over our TDA 35 broadband amplifier. The TDA 35 is a 35 dB gain amplifier. Uh, it does this by utilizing a GAAS FET hybrid chip. Uh, basically what that means is that it gets you much, much better uh, performance out of the amplifier with lower noise figures and lower distortion. This amplifier operates on a 1000 MHz bandwidth. That's uh, 54 to 1,000 megahertz on the forward path, and then 5 to 42 on the reverse. The TDA 35-1000 offers us forward gain controls, slope controls, and reverse gain controls. So we're going to take the cover off of this guy and take a look inside. Now that we have the cover off, we can see some of the controls inside the unit itself. The controls are these three rotary adjustment pots. Each one of these controls a different function of the amplifier. Every CATV system is a little bit different, so these controls allow us to set up the amplifier to meet its best performance depending on the situation that it's being deployed in. The forward gain control lets us set the forward gain on the amplifier. Uh, for this particular amp, it's 35 dB gain. That means that it's going to amplify whatever we feed it by 35 dB. So if we're going into the amplifier with 10 dB, we're now going to be getting 45 dB on the out. Uh, depending on what you actually need in in your particular situation because every CATV system is a little bit different, you can adjust that accordingly. So this second switch here is our equalizing switch. Uh, this allows us to adjust the tilt or the slope on the signal. Ideally we want to feed this amplifier a flat signal and on the output this amplifier wants to see a tilted signal depending on distances uh, that we're going. So the specs on this amplifier are 35, 45, meaning that we're going to have 35 dB at channel 2 and 45 dB at channel 135. This is the switch that allows you to set those settings to meet the spec. Our third switch here is the reverse gain. This allows us to adjust the uh, gain on the reverse path of the amplifier because this amplifier is a two-way amplifier, so if you do have uh, cable TV signals in the, reverse, uh, in the reverse path. This will pass them as well as amplify them so they can reach their destination. A question that we get asked a lot is what is the proper signal level to feed the amplifier? And the answer is really in the spec sheet. So for any amplifier that you have out there, pull the spec sheet and you're going to see a number on there uh, that's called the noise figure. For this particular amp, our noise figure is 7. So the rule of thumb that we typically use here is that you want to go 3 dB above the noise figure to feed your amplifier. So in this case, 3 plus 7 is 10, so 10 dB is the level that the sample wants to see to operate at its best performance. The TDA 35 is the most powerful amplifier that we have in the TDA series and we do offer a few other uh, options. So we have uh, what we call drop amplifiers, which is a low dB gain amplifier. Uh, it doesn't have any of the uh, controls that the TDA 35 does, but it's pretty simple and it, uh, we, it comes in a few different styles. So we have the TDA-R-40-115, uh, which is just a 15 dB gain amplifier. This will add uh, 15 dB to uh, whatever signal you feed into it. And then we also have uh, the four port version. This one will actually give us 7 dB gain on each one of the uh, four ports. If you have any more questions on amplifiers, please contact your sales rep at Toner Cable Equipment. Thank you.